And we're back again with more NAB 2024 coverage, and I'm here with Mark Aldrich from Think Analytics. Thank you, Damien. And we're going to talk about uh, exactly what you guys do, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, in the broadcast space, it's always been a challenge just to get any kind of real metrics. Obviously, for years, we've looked at different ways of tracking audiences. Yep. Uh, and the, the holy grail for advertisers is to know exactly who you're marketing to, right? So tell me, first of all, who's your typical customer and what are they coming to you for? So, uh, yeah, Damien, so we, we've, uh, Think Analytics, we've been around for a little over 20 years. And our core business was built on content discovery, so really video service providers was our, our core business. We have some of the largest tier one providers across the globe. We have 80 customers across uh, 38 countries, 47 languages, and that translates into about 475 million subscribers that are powered by our software. So that's our typical customer, but what we've recently uncovered is that there's also a huge need for what we do really well in a content discovery space, personalization space, in the traditional publishing space. Right. Traditional publishers for print and online Interesting. publishing. Very so exciting. So that's a whole new segment. It's a whole new space for us, and frankly, they have a lot of urgency to define their audience segments as well because third-party cookies are going away, as you know. You're right. And that is a lot of how they get their uh, their information about their subscribers. So the advantage of them working with us is we give them the ability to understand who their first-party customers are, whether they're subscribing, registered or unregistered. We can tell them what it looks like with their first-party data. So th there's obviously often a lot of skepticism around uh, tracking. I mean, I, I know the number of times I'll get like Spanish ads, for example, served up to me on, <laughs> on online platforms. So tell me a little bit about how you handle the data and how how you actually figure out exactly what the demographics are that people are, are uh, being, their content's being consumed by. Yeah, sure. So as I said, we've been around for a long time. We built an ontology to b based on metadata. So whether it's print metadata, but whether it's video metadata, talks about the moods, themes, content, um, genre, and we have what's called the metadata factory. After all the years that we built our algorithms using AI, running across that, we are able to be able to quickly understand what people are viewing and what that might mean in terms of what their preferences would be. And that can translate into contextual advertising, targeted advertising segments. So what we do with uh, customers, 100% anonymized data. So we take that first party data anonymized. Our so you, you never, you only we, get the anonymized data. We don't data. Know, have any personal information. We don't know who it is. We just know based on uh, ID what that particular uh, individual may be doing. And we can give you uh, at scale targeted audience segmentation and in-home composition. So obviously very, very appealing. If you think about video service providers, streamers, how do they monetize? They monetize through subscription and you want to limit your churn, obviously. Our customers have between five and 10% reduction in churn, 35% increase in their viewing time, 80%, so 25 to 100% increase in VODs watched. So from a translation perspective, you want to make sure that your subscribers are engaging in the content. What that tells us is, based on those things, and we look at our ontology, we think that, we, we know that those audience segments will specifically be interested in uh, these, they watch these shows, so you can target your ads to those shows, or you can target to the individuals. And how, how granular can you get in some of the specifics of an audience? Like obviously, age demographic, but then interests and things, like what are we talking about in terms of the training? Well, it turns out that what you watch and what you read says a lot about what you're interested in. So we can get pretty granular. And how did you, like, how, I mean, I'm not asking you reveal secret sauce, but yeah. uh, did you use like market survey data? Like how do you correlate finding out when someone watches this, is, watches this kind of show, they're into this kind of thing? Yeah. Is it um, so, how we've, I mean, again, it's, it's, it's over, over time what we've been able to determine and develop working with our customers right. is that, you know, pr quick, you know, over time just really refining what that translates into based on interest 
in uh, be, you know viewer behavior. Turns out that's pretty accurate to be able to de de determine what audience segment you're in. And I, I think I mentioned earlier, 90% accuracy in terms of in-home composition. So who's actually watching the content and why is that interesting to, let's say, an ad sales team, right? You, if you actually watch an ad that you're interested, I think I read this in Gartner, 67% of people are fine getting an ad that is related to something they're interested in or the content they're, they're watching. Right. So making sure that you're targeted and contextual is really important. And, and when it's done well, I guess the audience actually appreciates it because right. you're not it's watching like good stuff that you don't want to look at. Yeah, exactly. That's really cool. So uh, NAB 2024, new products, yeah. uh, new services, what, what are we looking at? So the, the hottest new product that we have uh, at the show, and we talked to a lot of folks about it, is called Think Fast. It's our fast channel scheduler. So basically we've taken all that ontology that we talked about, and today, the fast channel market is still a very fast growing market, but there's a lot of mixed reviews in terms of success of the actual channels and or the advertising that's being uh, delivered. What we did is we looked at it and said, this is a very manual process. People take man hours to look at data and decide, well, these, con these channels might fit together in a fast lineup. What we did is we took our expertise using Gen AI, customer gives us a, 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 their, uh, their um, metadata, we look at it with our uh, metadata factory and spit back, here's six channels that you could launch immediately, so, you know, four drama, two comedy, and then wow. we can optimize that again with their metadata and ours together. And if the customer wants to personalize it further, when people start to watch those channels, they can start to serve ads against that personalization as well. And is this already being out in the wild working? like? Uh, we we, we launched it two weeks ago. So we launched two weeks okay. ago, and I would tell you that the amount of interest we've gotten is tremendous simply because it solves a lot of problems. It's not competitive to anything that's in the market today. It's really just an enrichment and an in, um, automation of something that's been very manual. And so we, we feel pretty confident that this is going to change the paradigm of how quickly these channels can continue to launch, but then how effectively they're going to be received, and then, you know, we'll more to come on that, but uh, very, very uh, excited about it. All right. So Mark, uh, if people want to f find out more about Think Analytics and uh, the new offerings on the web, th thinkanalytics.com? Just look at thinkanalytics.com. Look me up. And Mark you, with a C. Are you guys, uh, do you have a presence on the floor? We or do. You, you do? Okay. Yeah, West Hall 1313. West Hall 1313. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, really appreciate Damien. it. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.